What's going on everybody? It's Colby Massey again and I'm here with another lesson for you and today is Monday so you know what that means it's another chord lesson and uh, if you've been following then you would know that you know week one we did the major chords week two we did minor chords and then we worked on combining both major and minor in that week so this week we're going to do the same major and minor chords but I'm going to show you how to do them in bar chords and power chords okay so Let's go ahead and get started, and I'll show you the whole concept of bar chords and power chords, okay? So, the bar chord is literally, you make a bar with your finger, and you push down on all the strings. Okay, and I'm using my new electric guitar. Ooh, it's a Gretsch Double Jet, if any of y'all want to know. But, like I said, you bar on all six strings, okay? Or, you'll bar only five strings and use the tip of your finger to mute that six string so alright so when you play an E major chord okay this the nut of the guitar is the bar so when you play bar chords all you do is take your finger and make your finger the new nut of the guitar so it's just like using a capo so when you do an E major chord, you take your bar, put it on the first fret, and do the same E major shape, just using your middle ring and pinky, that becomes F major, okay? Because notes and music go in alphabetical order. So E, F, G, all right? So when you go from first to third, that's a G note. In between F and G is called F sharp or G flat. Okay, so F sharp or G flat. All right, so E, F, F sharp, G, G sharp, A, so on and so forth, because it doesn't go higher than G in the alphabet. So, and another thing to know is there's no flat in between E and F, so it just goes E to F. And the same thing goes for B and C. There's no B, or I'm sorry, there's no sharp in between E and F. So it just goes E to F. There's no E sharp. So same thing with B. It goes B to C. There's no B sharp. All right? So it goes E, F, F sharp, G, G sharp, A, A sharp, B, C, C sharp, D, D sharp, E. And then you start over again at E on the 12th fret. And all that is is just the same note, just an octave higher. And the same thing goes for the fifth string. A, A sharp, B, C, C sharp, D. I'm sorry. A, A sharp, B, C, C sharp, D, D sharp, E. All right? I may did it right the first time. It just didn't feel right. But anyway, so you get the concept of the order of notes and that's for any string even on the D string D D sharp E F F sharp so on and so forth B or I'm sorry G so we go G G sharp A A sharp B C C sharp same thing for B B C C sharp D and then E is the same thing as the sixth string because they're both E. Anyway, when you're doing bar chords, like I showed you, make your bar on the first, make your bar across all six strings and then do the E major shape. Okay, so that is F major. All right, now the difference between major and minor in bar chords is that middle finger. So the middle finger down is major, middle finger off is minor. And that works the same anywhere on the fretboard. So here at the fifth fret, A major, A minor. Okay? So now for the fifth string bar chords, you bar the five strings, and you're muting the sixth string with the tip of your finger, and you do the same shape. All right? So if this is A major, okay, you take this shape, slide it down, bar across the first fret. That's A sharp major, okay? Now what I do is I just use these two fingers and mute that string because your middle finger is going to make the major or minor note, all right? Or the major or minor chord. So 
when you're doing fifth string bar chords, it's just the opposite. When your finger is down, the middle finger, down on the second string, it's a minor. When your middle finger is off, it's a major. All right? Because this here is a minor. So if you take that shape and slide it down, that's A sharp minor. All right? And that's the same thing. A sharp, B, C, C sharp, D, D sharp, E. And then all you do is take your middle finger on and off to make it major or minor. And power chords are the same thing that we've been learning. All you do is you don't bar all six strings. You just put down, you put pressure on that one note and mute the rest. Because these three fingers are going to come in and make the chord. And this is used more in like rock music. So um, all you're doing is putting pressure on that sixth string. And then your third finger, pinky, and middle finger are putting pressure on five, four, and three. Because these bottom two are muted. And it's supposed to be like more bassy sounding for like rock music, more grungy sounding. And it's the same concept for the fifth string. You take your finger, bar five strings, mute the six. And you remember you take your middle finger off now to make this, uh, what that is, is a D major. So, then you put your middle finger down to make it minor. But regardless, those are muted. Okay? And that's pretty much it. That's all you really need to know for bar chords and power chords and we're going to go the rest of the week and I'm going to teach you songs using these bar chord and power chord concepts and shapes and stuff and um I, I hope this video helped if you would watch it as much as you need to to kind of get down what I'm showing you and understand what I mean by identifying the notes on the fretboard because that's how you're going to identify the chord itself because they're always identified by the bass note so you know, first fret, F, F sharp, G, you know, A sharp, B, C. Uh, C. So watch this video as much as you need to, to kind of understand what I'm saying. And if you would like, subscribe, comment, give me some feedback. Let me know how I'm doing. Let me know how you like these videos. And um, I guess I'll see you in another video later this week. Y'all take it easy and I'll see you along the way.